Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain steady state error with unit parabolic input. Not only that, I will also explain steady state error with type 0 system, with type 1 system and with type 2 system. And at last, I will summarize steady state error with different input signals and with different type signals. Right. So let us identify steady state error with unit parabolic input. Here we have negative feedback system where input is R of S and for parabolic input one should know this input is 1 by S cube. Right. And steady state error calculation is based on error signal. So what is error signal? Error signal E of S that is R of S divided by 1 plus g of s h of s right where this r of s that is 1 by s cube so steady state error that is 1 divided by s cube divided by 1 plus g of s h of s now i will explain you steady state error based on error signal steady state error is limit s tends to 0 s into e of s right here e of s that is this let me place it over here now here this s and this s cube is getting 1 by s square over here right so if you further simplify this then you will be getting limit s tends to 0 here in numerator we will be having 1 here in denominator we will be having s square plus s square into g of s h of s now what we can do is we can take this limit inside so if you take this limit inside then in numerator we will be having 1 and in denominator s tends to 0 over here that is making s square 0 and here we will be having limit s tends to 0 and s square g of s h of s is there with us right and one should know see limit s tends to 0 s square g of s h of s that is acceleration error constant so i have already explained that in my earlier videos see acceleration error constant that is limit s tends to 0 s square g of s h of s right so let us substitute that over here so here we have steady state error that is 1 divided by 0 plus acceleration error constant means 1 divided by k a right now i will explain steady state error for type 0 system so first of all one should know what is type 0 system see with type 0 system we have zero poles at origin right so if you observe the open loop transfer function then open loop transfer function of the system is g of s h of s there is no pole at origin means in numerator we will be having constant into some zeros like s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on and there is no pole at origin means poles will be there at other location than origin means it could be s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on right now using this g of s h of s we can identify acceleration error constant that is limit s tends to 0 s square g of s h of s right now here if you place this g of s h of s over here and if you go for s tends to 0 then 0 into anything that will be 0 only so acceleration error constant will be 0 over here right and if you have acceleration error constant 0 then what is steady state error with unit parabolic input? It is 1 by Ka, right? So 1 by Ka, where Ka is 0, so this will be infinite, right? So steady state error for type 0 system with unit parabolic input, that is infinite over here, right? Now, I will explain steady state error for type 1 system. See, with type 1 system, we have one pole at origin, right? 
So if you observe open loop transfer function of the system, that is g of s h of s, then that will be constant k into s plus z1, s plus z2, and so on. And here we have one pole at origin with type 1 system. So in denominator, we will be having s and then s plus p1, s plus p2, and so on. So here we have one pole at origin with type 1 system. Now I will identify acceleration error constant that is limit s tends to 0 s square into g of s h of s right now here if you place g of s h of s then 1s is getting cancelled and in numerator we will be having 1s where if you place s tends to 0 then 0 into something that is getting 0 so what is steady state error that is 1 divided by ka where ka is 0 so steady state error will be infinite for type 1 system with unit parabolic input right now i will explain steady state error for type 2 system with type 2 system we have two poles at origin right so what is open loop transfer function of the system that is g of s h of s that is constant k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on and here we have type 2 system means two poles at origin means in denominator we will be having s square right and some other poles are there so now we have g of s h of s for a type 2 system and here we have acceleration error constant that is limit s tends to 0 s square into g of s h of s now here if you place g of s h of s then s square is getting cancelled from numerator and denominator so you will be getting limit s tends to 0 constant k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on and in denominator s square is getting cancelled so we will be having s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on so if you place s tends to 0 what will happen k into 0 plus z1 0 plus z2 and so on and in denominator we will be having 0 plus p1 0 plus p2 and so on so that is somewhat constant that is somewhat constant so you can say steady state error that is ess that is 1 by ka and here ka is constant so steady state error is also constant right now i will summarize my last three videos right so here see we have different inputs right here we have different inputs and see as if you have unit step input then i have explained steady state error calculation see with unit step input steady state error is 1 by 1 plus kp where it is constant for type 0 it is 0 for type 1 and for type 2 right so let me place it over here see for type 0 it is constant and steady state error ess that was 1 divided by 1 plus kp and it was 0 for type 1 and type 2 with unit ramp input what is steady state error that i have explained with unit ramp input steady state error that is 1 by kv right and that is infinite for type 0 it is 1 by kv for type 1 and it is 0 for type 2 right so let us place it over here so it is infinite for type 0 it is 1 by kv for type 1 and it is 0 for type 2 and with unit parabolic input in this video i have explained steady state error that is 1 by ka for type 0 it is infinite right for type 0 it is infinite for type 1 it is infinite and for type 2 it is constant 
So let us place it over here. It is infinite here, it is infinite here, and here it is 1 by Ka, right? That is how it is there. So if you carefully observe, if you carefully observe, see diagonally values are available, right? Diagonally we have values. And see below this diagonal, we have zeros. So for type 3, if you want to calculate, then it will be 0 over here, right? And for higher order signals over here, there will be infinity. So that is how one can directly understand 3D state error calculation, right? So this is all about this video. I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is steady state error and how it changes with respect to input signal and type of system. Still, if any confusion is there, then just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.